Here's a tricky exponential equation for you. Stick around until the end. I'll make a quick pro tip that makes these kind of questions easier to recognize. All right, let's rewrite this equation. Using the law of exponents, we'll write 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. This is the exact same of 3 to the power of 2x. Then we will rewrite everything else the same. Plus 9 equals 0. Now let 3 to the power of x equals t. And later I'll show you why. So we'll be left with t squared minus 10t plus 9 equals 0. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down questions that you want me to solve for you. Now we recognize this as a quadratic equation and we will use the rainbow method. So we need to find two numbers that multiply to 9, positive 9, that add up to negative 10. And the two numbers are negative 1 and negative 9. So we're going to use it and do the rainbow method. So we have t minus 1 and t minus 9 equals 0. Feel free to foil that out and we will get the equation above. So they are the exact same. Now, using the zero method, we solve for t that will result in zero on the, on the right side there. So t will equal positive one and nine. We're not done yet. Now let's plug t back in for three to the x, which equals one, and three to the power of x also equals nine. So three to the power of what equals one? x must be zero in order for three to the power of x to equate to one. For, the, for 3 to the power of x equals 9, 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9. So therefore, x is 2. And we're done. And here's the pro tip. Whenever you see exponents like a to the power of 2x and a to the power of x in the same equation, treat it as a quadratic disguise. Substituting t equals a to the power of x almost always cracks it wide open. And there we have it. The solution to this equation is x equals 0 and 2. Comment down what you'd like me to solve in the next one. See ya, boys! Hey! <laughs>